Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, folks. We have a, uh, a fine program here tonight. Amy Wallace is here and Don Rickles will be out in uh, just a second. Paul, did you have a nice uh, weekend? Um, I had a lovely time here in the city. The weather was swell, but I... I if... uh, I'm very excited about having uh, this next gentleman on our program. As I mentioned at the top of the show, uh, never fails to make me laugh. He will be appearing at the Westbury Music Fair uh, right here in New York beginning September 28th through October 2nd. Uh, truly one of the funniest men in the world. Please welcome Don Rickles. You look great. We've got a real laid-back crowd here. No, no. <laughs> They're all sitting there with grenades and guns. <laughs> <laughs> They're happy to see you. We get a, we get a good group and... Uh... You should do. And I, I've never been on your show. I've been with you in, once in Los Angeles, right. when, uh, Johnny Carson, when you were... You remember him. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Ed McMahon, who you're going to have on tomorrow night. Here tomorrow, sure. Sure. Today we had yeah. a drink together and he, he was... <laughs> Runs in front of Johnny's car and checks for grenades. And all that stuff. <laughs> it's his whole life, Johnny Carson. Uh, Paul, have yourself committed. <laughs> That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said. <laughs> Awfully nice guy, but there's a new thing out called food. <laughs> the, the black kid sitting there going, "What's he making fun of him for? What's he making fun of him?" <laughs> Don, that's. Uh... That's uh, Hiram Bullock. Hiram, Hiram Bullock. Bullock, yeah, Don that's Rickles. a black guy. Hiram Bullock. <laughs> they give themselves those funny names so to stump the cops. <laughs> What's your name, boy? Hiram Bullock? Now go back. <laughs> I kid you, Hiram. You're black and I'm white. That's the brakes. Oh. <laughs> Is he laughing? See if he's laughing. No, he's yeah, laughing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. How old are you, Hiram? <laughs> yeah, and he's tired already. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, we'll come over and have harmonica lessons here, okay? <laughs> good to see you, Hiram. You're a good fellow. Uh, Don, you just, uh... <laughs> you just, you just got back Can and... I ask you something? Please do. <laughs> when you were a kid, did they hang you? <laughs> do you notice every time I watch you, I'm he sits like, 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 a, like you got a stick on your can and you're waiting for field day or something. <laughs> You're, the, you're like Carson, the real mid, Midwest guy. He never perspires. I bet when you get married, you make love to the wife. Not a trickle, nothing. I bet you probably stand by the end of the bed going, well, I don't want to take a crack out of it, huh? What do you say? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I could say anything because at 12.30, nobody's up. No, no. There's, uh, <laughs> there's, uh, there's a fine uh, group of folks out no, there. No, you have a good this. following. You, I, I, ne I never thought you were going to make it. I'm delighted for you. I... <laughs> was one of the guys that said, this guy's a stiff, he ain't gonna make it. No, no. And, and, Dan, and, 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 and Crystal, that kid Crystal, uh, uh, Danny, uh, uh, not Danny, uh, Billy. Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal. Yeah, who's your good friends, like Newhart and I. You are good friends. Yeah, he's a very funny man. Yeah, he is. He, yeah. uh, of course, I watched him on the show and I spoke to him a few times about you and he was, he was fed up too. <laughs> uh, no, that's not true. But I, I like that uh, camaraderie you have between Billy and you and Newhart and I have that. Too, yeah. And Bob is, uh, he's like you. That's why we're, we're, we're such good friends. I think Bob's terrific. You yeah. Know, you know, it occurred to me the other day, he's, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, I think he's had, he had a, he had a television show in the 60s, he had one in the 70s, mm. and now he's got one in the 80s. Mm. And, and each of them have been very successful. Mm. That's a pretty impressive record. Three separate shows, three I know, he, he reminds me of that every day. Uh -huh. <laughs> I had a few shows that, unfortunately, it started to get funny and they took it off. Now, uh, <laughs> how many shows did you have? Well, David, uh, if we, oh, first, I had a show on ABC with Pat McCormick. What was that called? That was called Make It Up and Hope It Goes Over. Uh, <laughs> we used to stand on the set. That's the truth. Pat uh -huh. used to make it up, and we used to, in ABC, at that time, Goldenson was the, was the president, still is the chairman of the board now. You know Goldenson of ABC? No, I don't know. He's him. a great guy. A little Jewish guy just sits in the office going, eh, turn on the light. Turn on the light. <laughs> Somebody turn on the light. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's cheap chairs here. Uh, 
But uh, and then I had a then I had another show called the Don Rickles Show with Sheldon Leonard, uh -huh. where I played an executive, your type of guy, you know, the Midwest guy. But nobody bought that, you know, because <laughs> you I'm, a, I'm a New Yorker no. all my life. You yeah. know, I'm the kind of guy that hangs around the neighborhood. And goes, what do you say, Vinny? <laughs> you know. Yeah. Hey, 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 here's your Vinny. Vinny, hey, hey. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that that's Italian for how's your family. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Look at that we, bullet bought that. We got to uh, never heard of that. We, <laughs> Don, we have to do a commercial here. Sure, whatever you we'll, want. It's we'll your do, show. We'll do a commercial, and then uh, we'll be right back. Okay, Don Rickles will be here uh, for the rest of the year. Uh, we'll, we'll... Rickles is here. You ever been to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Don? Uh, once, uh, uh, I, uh, in the service. <laughs> we went through with the shades down. Uh, no, it's it's a nice area. Yeah. Well, no, say something nice about the folks down there because okay, they just... Baton, uh... Baton Rouge? <laughs> Kiss my Charlotte Rouge. <laughs> no, I, I love it down there. I, I don't plan to work there, but I... Uh... <laughs> No, it's nice. It really is. I, that part of the country I'm not too familiar with. I've been through there, but I've never worked there. You, do, you used to do college dates and so forth. I never went to college. You went to Ball State. That's right. Now, how did you know I went to Ball oh, well, State Well, because University. you're my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't watch television in the supermarket. We have a set at home, you know. I do watch you. You think I don't, but I do. I really do. Well, 12.30 at night when the wife's relaxing in between little club dates, we, uh, we turn you on and yeah. I enjoy you. I now, really how, do. how is your wife? She's great. Uh, uh, she wanted to come to the show tonight, but uh, she took a room in Saks. Uh, <laughs> we just came back from Italy, David. Have you ever been to Italy? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you don't have to call me sir. Oh, okay. All right. King of all Jews will be enough. <laughs> But uh, you make me feel so old, David. I'm sir. sorry. I'm just Bob Hope, you can say, sir. George Burns, Indiana those men thing. deserve, All sir. Right. All right, Don. And Call Carson, Don? certainly for you, yeah. sir. Yeah. <laughs> Not for me, but... Well, yes, for me sometimes, I would say that. But... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I must say that uh, we, we just came back from Italy, and the wife, my name on trips, you're not a married guy yet, someday I hope you will be, if that be your wish, I don't know. Are you, do, do you plan to get married, or you just yeah, want no, to just get wanna confuse the public? No, I plan to get married. Still lock yourself in your room with the radio on loud? <laughs> get married, David. You really got to do it. It's great. I was 38 years old before I got married. I'm now, I'll be, I'm 57 now. Uh -huh. For a minute there, I thought it was a Keno game. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, if you get a chance, look over here and see how we're doing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just sits there in the nude looking at his body. No, it... Anyway, uh, I must say, though, that uh, we went to Italy and my name on the trip was, so help me, to all of us, my name was, uh, you don't need that. My wife kept buying, well, she bought jewelry, bless her heart, she bought shoes. And I'd say, I think I need a t-shirt. You don't need that. That was my middle name. You don't need that. Yeah. And so we went to Capri, we went to Venice, and uh, the exciting part is my son uh, turned 13 and I, I had him bar mitzvah. You know that expression, that's when a Jewish boy becomes of age, uh, becomes a man, so to speak. And we went to the wall in Israel and said all the prayers and it was great. And uh, Newhart, he wanted oh, to you come. Went, you went with, oh, you didn't go with Bob? No, 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 no because they, they recognize him. They, start, they, they try to pick him off. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I mean, there are Gentiles and Gentiles, but he has the white skin uh -huh. and definitely it doesn't look like... He looks like a Nazi fighter pilot. That's what he looks like. <laughs> but Bob and I did visit Israel uh, previous to this, uh -huh. and we had a marvelous time together. And he kept saying, let's go to the birthplace of Jesus. You know, and I kept telling that to the Israeli soldiers, and they kept giggling and laughing. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> I don't know what that meant, but I no, said, I let's see the birthplace of Jesus. And we did. They were most kind. The Israeli government was terrific to Bob. And it really, uh, I'm not, as long as we're on that thing, I mean, you, no matter what your faith is, Israel, it, it's a fantastic place. All the holiest places in the world are there, and it's great, you know, especially for Bob. You know, when he laid on the ground, and went, <laughs> you know, and I gave him a cookie, and he stopped doing that. <laughs> Now, now, when you travel uh, out of the country, Don, do people recognize you? Oh, yes. They don't recognize you? No. <laughs> they know me like that. No, I'm amazed. It's not so much the Europeans, as you can well imagine. You uh -huh. know, they, uh, they don't... Television is, you know... Uh, unless you have a Dallas or something like that, you're sure. Larry Hagman or what have you, for the lack of another name right now. But uh, <laughs> he, he's my neighbor at the beach. He's, they're going to have him taken away with Paul. Oh, oh yeah. I,
<laughs> he, he's my neighbor at the beach. He's, they're going to have him taken away with Paul. Oh, uh, yeah. He runs up and down the beach with a big flag going, Have you seen me on Dallas? He's a real... He's completely out of control. Yeah, the that's man's peculiar. Out. Anyway, uh, you know... You know you don't seem like a you don't seem like a beach kind of guy. You go you live at the beach, do you? What is a beach kind of guy like? Like like Will, our uh, guitar player. He he seemed our bass Will, you, player. He seemed like a beach, beach? kind of guy. No, but I'm a beach kind of guy. No, See? but you're a beach kind of guy. You, you where do you go to the beach out here? Rockaway, Jones it's Beach, been about where? About fifteen years. Huh? It's been about fifteen years. This is not an interview. <laughs> Just asked him a question, and the kid did 20 minutes, and how he got started. Uh, I, uh, well, uh, I, I, I go to uh, Malibu. We have a home out in Malibu. Uh -huh. And the beach to me is getting in a big couch, laying there with a little vodka martini, and going, more. Uh, and the wife's answer to that is, you're a crude person, and I'm not going to put up with it, and refuses to leave me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Because she's coming into a ton of money when I take the big cab. Oh, don't, now don't, don't talk like that. Well, I kid about that. Yeah. Death, we must face it. You know, we, mu we must face it. I, I know when my time comes, I know I'll get a big turnout. I figure me for about 40 cars. <laughs> I figure you for one wagon and the black kid. <laughs> Uh, well, at least I'll have you on Black Kids. Yeah. Um, we got to, uh, we got to, what are we doing? Station identification. We'll be right back. Don Rickles will be here. It's seven on three. Be there. Thank you, folks. Welcome back to the program. Don Rickles is here. Tomorrow night on this show, will uh, Ed McMahon, as uh, Mr. Rickles mentioned, will be here. Also, Annie Leibovitz, the photographer for Rolling Stone. And uh, later in the show, you're going to meet uh, Amy Wallace, and also we're going to take a look at my neighborhood. Don, you're in the, the New York area out at uh, Westbury Music Fair. Yeah, we'll be there starting uh, Wednesday night till Sunday with a, with a friend. I don't know if you've ever had her on a show, but she's a delightful lady, Debbie Reynolds. No, she's, she's never a, been here. She's a wonderful lady. We, uh, we go back a long time because I... I, I, my film career is not that extensive. I mean, you never saw me at the Academy Awards going, let's hear it for me. Uh, but I uh, did a picture with her many years ago called Rat Race. Uh, and Debbie was the star with Tony Curtis, and that was the big Paramount days when uh, Debbie was the, uh, the wonderful uh, starlet of that studio. And it was, a, it was a big treat because, as you know, as comedians, it's very difficult for all of us to get parts away from your image, you know. Sure. Uh, so uh, I, I played this part, and... Uh, it was a heavy, and it was something that I run on cassettes for my family just to prove to myself I did that, you know. <laughs> and uh, uh, the parts they offer me now is to be Rodney Dangerfield's valet. <laughs> so uh, I uh, haven't had an opportunity as yet. Now, you mentioned movies. We have a couple of the other ones here that you made. Man with the X-ray Eyes? Oh, that was a big winner. That was with Ray Milland who walked around blind for two hours <laughs> trying to find out where the circus was. It's, all, it's, it's the best way I can describe it. And, uh, it, uh, it, 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 but working with Ray was a treat. That what, was, what part did you play in that? I played the guy, again, I was a heavy in those mm -hmm. days, and I was heavy. I was about 203 pounds. Yeah. I, <laughs> I was single and just running around telling girls I was a whale. Uh, <laughs> but it seemed to work. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, <laughs> the, the money jungle, what was that? The money jungle I didn't do. That you did in your house with brown socks. <laughs> uh, you oh, remember? Yeah. You, no, you, that's right. That's yeah. right. You had the mask. Remember, yeah. I was the director. It was about yeah. six of us. <laughs> anyway, uh, it was a hell of a night. That's I never right. forgot it. That no. was uh, when, when I had the mobile home. That's we did right. it out there, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Muscle Beach Party. No, a Beach Blanket Bingo, Muscle Beach, right. That, that yeah, I did. Two with, different ones, yeah. Yeah, well, they, they also were big hits. We did those in 15 days with uh, Frankie Avalon, Annette Funicello, who's now uh, selling uh, peanut butter. And uh, I don't put that as a put down to uh, Annette. She's a wonderful girl. Yeah, I, I certainly like a nice lady. Yeah, she really is. She was the one that believed Italy would win the war. Uh, <laughs> And our, uh, Frankie Avalon and Keenan Wynn and Buddy Hackett and myself, we did, it was a lot of fun in those days. Yeah. If, you, if you didn't know the dialogue, nobody cared. Now here, Don, I, I don't know if you've even seen these. We have two comic books, uh, <laughs> Superman's Pal, the new Jimmy Olsen. And uh, can you take a look at uh, our friend on the cover here? <laughs> I never that? saw that you, one. You know that one I saw. That one I saw. This one's another Jimmy Olsen comic book with... Yeah. Uh, once again, featuring Don Rickles. My daughter uses that as her chemistry book. <laughs> How is your daughter? She's great. She's working the neighborhood now. She's a... Uh... Oh, hey, hey, it's 
It's my daughter. You don't know her. No, she's... she's <laughs> some, some Polish guy in the back thinks this is a clinic. <laughs> anyway, uh... You'll come up later and bowl. <laughs> anyway, uh... I... Now, don't write letters if you're Polish. That's a joke. I love all of you dearly, really. I, 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 I'd be lost without the Polish people. <laughs> uh, I want to say uh, that my daughter wants to be an actress. Yeah. And she's studying hard, and she goes to high school in Los Angeles, and she works very hard at it, and she's like her mother. She says, Dan, I can't understand it. That's the way her mother uh -huh. talks. I, I married a Valium, David. That's what you have to marry, especially when you're an actor. Don't marry anybody in this business. I, please, I beg you, I, it, it, because we're so competitive. It's so nice. I got a wife gets up in the morning and goes, listen, you go to the studio and do your thing. <laughs> Poor people, idiots, I'm gonna buy jewelry. <laughs> And that, and that, and that's the way her daughter is, uh, that, and my daughter too. Uh -huh. she's, she says, "Dad, I'm going with Mom, and we're going to shop." My son, he's not into that. He just wants baseball and the Dodgers and the. Now, how, how old is your, your daughter, Don? My daughter's 17. Now, has she uh, come to the age yet where she might bring a date home to meet you? Well, she brought a guy home the other night. You know, he was, he was great. He had a grenade and a rifle and a. No, my my daughter hasn't really reached that point. I think that's going to shake me up because. I know she's going to bring home a stiff. I just feel it. I really do. It's not going to be a hip, hip hooray when she brings home the guy. It's going to be some guy going, hey, what do you say, pop? <laughs> hey, what do you say, old man? Hey. Uh, and I'm going to have a lot of problems. But uh, No, you won't. It'll be fine. She's a good kid. You keep your fingers crossed with youngsters. Yeah. Today, it's, there's so many problems out there. And television, every time you turn it, and we have cable, as you have it here in the, in the East, and every time, uh, no, well, in the middle of the night, you know, there's yeah. my daughter sitting in the living room, and my son is only 13, and you, you hear Richard Gere going, <laughs> and I said, somebody got cramps in the house? What's that? And it's Richard Gere taking a shot at a monkey or something, I don't know. Uh, Don is, uh, uh, will be at the, uh, the Westbury Music Fair, when does it begin? September 28th? Well, it begins whenever you want it to September begin. September 28th. No, it begins Wednesday night. We'll be there this Sunday with Debbie Reynolds and... Uh, have, a, have a good time out there. Thanks. And David, can I tell you, really, I, I'm really a fan, and I, I wish you a lot of luck. There's a lot of guys out there with shows, you know, and the competition is, is tough, but you, you've come through like a champ, and I'm, I wish you the best. Really. Thanks. It's very nice of you to say. Don Rickles, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Don. Uh, we'll be right back to take a look at the neighborhood. <laughs> Thank you.